and you'll have a love that's, that's not you. And it's supernatural. You'll scratch your head sometimes and try to figure out, man, why did I do that? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Wanting to rise up and, and say something, but, but I said something else. How, how did <laughs> Because it wasn't you. Yeah. It was him. And that's when you'll cry. That's where the tears come from. That's where the tears of mourning come from. Because you realize it was him in you that did the work. Yeah. And you'll realize there is no self-righteousness inside you. Because no you know it's not you doing anything. Mm -hmm. You can't boast, look what I've done, and I've done this, and I've done that. You'll know in humility that, no, it wasn't me. No, I would have done the opposite. And be honest with God. God, I'd have done the opposite. You know I would. <laughs> but you had me for you. Yeah. You had me bless those who cursed yeah, me. Man. You had me do good mm -hmm. to my enemies. Mm -hmm. This is going to be very important mm -hmm. because you're about to be persecuted like never before. Go ahead, yeah. And being as we are so spoiled, compared to the early church, they were used to living without portalettes. Mm -hmm. They were used to living without toilets. They were used to living without heat mm -hmm. and air conditioning mm -hmm. and, and then without fast food joints. They were used to going through some types of hardships. Yeah. We're not. Oh, yeah. And then persecution came to them. Uh -huh. yeah. We have got stuff coming here mm -hmm. that we've never seen in our life before. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you 2 Thessalonians mm -hmm. chapter 2 is about to come to pass. Mm -hmm. There's about to be a great falling away. Mm -hmm. Because when you persecute a people that's been spoiled rotten, <laughs> they're going to run the other way. Mm -hmm. That is why he's raising up men and women of God to preach the truth. Yeah. To step on our toes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To Amen. show us yeah. what we must do. Yeah. Yeah. must conform to the image of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And we must suffer with him and be glorified yeah. with him. Yeah. As the word of God says. Yeah. That when, no matter what persecution comes, no matter what your family member does and turns you in Come to on. the government to be subject <laughs> to whatever they do. Mm -hmm. that, that turns you into the Muslims or whatever religion is coming after you. Mm -hmm. Because they're coming one day, people. Mm -hmm. It's all in the Word of God. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see it forming in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody knows how long it's going to take, but you can yeah. see it happen. Yeah. Yeah. You can see mm -hmm. this. So if you will let Him mm -hmm. be all in all in you, no. and you not do it yourself, let Him do it, yeah. 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 then the supernatural power oh, yeah. will be there when you need it. That's what they did in the early church. Yeah. It wasn't Peter that said, oh, I'll be hung upside down on the cross in the flesh. Mm -hmm. He didn't know Christ after the flesh no more. Isn't that what the scripture just said? Yeah, exactly. Don't know Christ after the flesh no more. Don't, don't just think, well, I'm going to try to conform to his image myself. Mm -hmm. Know him in the spirit. Mm -hmm. It was the spirit of God that said, Amen. the strength rose up in yeah. Peter oh, yeah. and said, I'll be with you no. even unto the end. Mm -hmm. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. And, and blessed are you who are persecuted for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. huh. All the words start coming back. Boom, yeah. boom, mm -hmm. boom. That's the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. For great is your reward Good God. in heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. I'm, I'm about to lose my place. I feel the Holy Spirit. In verse 9 in, in Romans chapter 13. For this, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, and if there be any other commandment. It is briefly comprehended in this saying. Namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> if you love your neighbor as yourself, you're not going to seek to steal from them. <laughs> you're not going to seek to mess with their husband or wife. <laughs> because you wouldn't want to do it to you. Uh, Hello. Mm -hmm. That fulfills the law. Can you see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. People concentrate on these laws. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to steal. Well, if you just walk in love, you won't even have to look at the law. Yeah, mm -hmm. You'll fulfill the law. Oh, You're not yeah. going to steal. The Spirit of God is not going to steal nothing. The right. uh -huh. Spirit of God is not going to knock somebody else up in the head. <laughs> the Spirit of God is not going to covet. No. But the flesh does. Mm -hmm. The flesh does. Yeah. And that's why the flesh is being put down right now. Mm -hmm. And the flesh is trying to tell you, go to sleep. Go home. Don't show back up at church. Mm -hmm. Don't go there next week. Come on, don't brother. go there the week after. <laughs> Stay home. I got some on TV yeah. to watch. Uh -huh. My goodness. I know football's <laughs> over with, but we're going to put something else on there and get y'all's attention. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some good movies on there with the flesh. The devil in his world is telling you that right now. Oh, but I'm telling you right now, press on in. Mm -hmm. Because God's about to fill you with more love than you've ever seen before oh, in your life. Amen. And the love of God is the power of God. Amen. There is no other power known unto man. Mm -hmm. That's stronger than the love of God. That's right. God is love. Yes, Amen. Is. That means He's dwelling in your tabernacle. Amen. That means when you pray for somebody and that liquid love flows through Amen. you, they're going to feel it. They're going to feel it if it's fake or if it's real, folks. Amen. 
I'm serious. Yeah. You can't have the spirit of hip hop. <laughs> I call it hypocrisy. <laughs> Maybe we've got the spirit of hip hop. Yeah, yes, I'll pray. I mean, I want a hip hop. <laughs> and you say great swelling things, but it's not even in your heart. Come mm -hmm. on. If it's in your heart to get that nasty thing off the air, what's happening with them? Then they'll feel it. And the Spirit of God will reach down there and pull it out. Mm -hmm. That's why prayers are answered from the heart. Yes. Oh, many people, many, many people in the church, they they they, they worship Him with their lips, but the hearts, but the hearts are far from it. Verse 10, it says, Love works no ill to his neighbor. <laughs> Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Uh -huh. And that knowing that the time and now it is at hand, it's time to awake out of sleep. There's another sleep. Uh -oh. See, he's trying to tell us something. Mm. Because every scripture I've been going to lately talks about falling asleep and waking up. Mm -hmm. Okay, virgins, that means you're saved. It's time to be the five wise ones mm -hmm. and not the five foolish. Right. It's time to wake up and trim them legs. Let <laughs> the Holy Ghost trim all that. channel a couple of years ago where this doctor in the United States had compassion on this lady from Russia. This lady weighed 180 pounds, but the 100 pounds was a tumor. Mm -hmm. And this tumor was so big she couldn't even get out of bed. Yeah. There was nobody in Russia, no physician in Russia that could operate on her because all the capillaries and the blood vessels that were in this tumor, mm -hmm. if they cut it off she could bleed to death. Yeah. The tumor was sucking life out of her. Uh, she was a, a measly 80 pounds mm -hmm. and this thing was 100 pounds of flesh. A flesh eating tumor like that's what sin is. Yeah. Yeah. And this man from America went over to Russia, flew over there, put her on two gurneys and took the knife and cut that big hunk of flesh mm -hmm. very carefully, mm -hmm. cut it off her body yeah. so she could live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should have seen all the blood that this thing was grabbing mm -hmm. and taking all the oh. nutrients out yeah. of her body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the flesh right. is doing mm -hmm. to you spiritually. Mm -hmm. It's time to let Jesus, the ultimate physician, mm -hmm. Amen. take the word, which is the sword, sharper than any two-edged mm -hmm. sword, mm -hmm. able to divide bone and marrow, uh, and, oh praise God, spirit and soul, yeah. and come in here very carefully and take all that stuff out of your yeah. life that is not clean. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that stuff in your life that is not clean is sucking the life. Uh, Man. That's what I'm talking about. And that's yeah, what he's doing right now. Yeah. And many people say, we got you on fire, ribs, don't let stepping on my toes. He's trying to save your life. Yeah. Bigger than we are. Mm -hmm. And they consume us. It don't matter what it is. That's right. 